Hey, what's up, nerds? How's everybody doing this morning? Hopefully everybody's having a good day, a good week. It's Friday, January 25th. Hopefully you've had a good first month of uh, the 2019 year. Can't believe it's almost already over. Um, it just seems like it's flown by. But I'm excited to be here doing a head shave. I've got three days of growth and excited to take it off. So with that, we'll get into it. Just going to start with a little water. some cold water and I'm gonna be using a new soap that I've never used before it was a uh, piff to me and it is and I don't know how to pronounce it so I'm gonna hold it up here so everybody can see it and there's some more it's right on the corner there's some words right here but don't know if you'll be able to read that and uh, yeah, this was piffed to me, it was gifted to me, um, and I haven't used it yet, so I thought, you know what, let's break it out and give it a shot, and um, haven't even opened it yet, so we'll see. I think I'm going to use it kind of like I would a shave stick. I'm going to peel this back a little bit. It has a minty scent to me, which kind of makes sense because there's a picture of a mint leaf on the back oh, and there's the ingredients for those who like that sort of thing um, yeah minty kind of a minty scent to it so we'll see uh, we'll see how it does I, I looked it up didn't find too much out about it so and uh, I think it's a French soap I'm pretty sure I found that out and I'm going to be using my Omega Boar Brush from Italy. So a little bit of a around the world shave today. Um, and then I'm going to use the Rockwell 6C with uh, plate 4. And the blade in it is the Supermax Blue Diamond Titanium Coated Blade from Swedish Still. So we got Sweden, America, France, and Italy in this shave. So with that, we'll get into it. And uh, I got a little bit of water on my head. I'm going to put a little more. And then my cup that I was soaking my brush in, I'm just going to dip this into. I'm going to use it like I would a shave stick. It's a very hard soap. Very, very hard. We'll see how this works if this uh if I can get enough soap off of the onto my head doing it this way. It's a pretty faint scent, um, unless you're unless I have it right under my Nose, I can't really smell it. But we'll see how it performs. There we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. I have no idea how much to put on since I've never used this before. Alright, no. I 
I've got some soap on my head. So we'll see how that does. If needed, I'll just add some more. Just gonna get a little more water into this and then and away we go. a very very faint scent to it. Just add a little more water. As I'm building the lather, it does have a nice thick feel to it so far. The soap does. Hopefully it's not some hard to find super expensive soap that I just cracked open and ruined and some sort of collector's item that I had no idea about and anyways so well, there's Bill enough well Yeah, really nice. You know, the, the only thing I don't like about this brush is its little handle. I, I do not like the handle on this brush. I love the performance of it, but the handle, not my favorite. So I think that's a good lather with this. Might be a little thick, but that's all right because I've never used it and don't know what it's going to perform like. But as far as lather building goes, I think that was pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Here we go, first pass with the grain and then against the grain on the sides. And I don't know if I mentioned this blade is on its third head shave.
So if anything, anybody knows anything else about this soap, uh, please let me know. I'll try to do a little more research on it and maybe when I use it again be able to provide some more info about it. But so far, feels good. Rinse clean, so it's a good sign. Yeah, really good slickness and glide to it. Um, Really, really smooth shave so far. We'll see if uh, how efficient it is, but really smooth. I've been uh, eyeing a new razor. We'll see. It's pretty expensive, so I don't know if I'll ever get one or not, but I think if I Ever had an opportunity to find one on sale or cheaper, or, you know, use something like that? A uh, timeless titanium in the 0.95 blade gap, um, just a standard safety bar, not open comb or scallop razor. I think that's on my. Uh, Number one on my wish list right now. So if anybody who's out there who watches has used a timeless or has one, let me know what you think of it. Um, read some reviews on it and watched some videos on it. It just seems like an awesome little razor. This is going really well. Very smooth and easy. Um, very much different experience than using the R41. The R41, it seems like you have to really pay attention to what you're doing and, and stay focused and and uh, really zoned in on it and this is much smoother much easier um, yeah But we'll see how much is sacrificed in efficiency to gain that smoothness.
my left is soap just a touch thick on the back of my head, but that's all right. Yeah, really smooth, easy shave so far. I'm going to take just a little bit of water on my hand and just kind of rub it into this top part that's dried out just a little bit. Just to get a little bit wake it up just a little bit. Wow. That is really smooth. Um, really nice combo I got going here. Really, really nice soap. Um, very light scent. I, I can't get anything off the scent. Um, but performance wise, really, really good. Very slick. Really good glide to it. Even though I left the lather probably just a touch too thick, it didn't feel sticky at all when the blade razor was sliding across it. You know, sometimes when you leave a lather a little too thick, you can feel it kind of catch a little bit on the lather, just stick a little bit. There was no, no problems with that. Um, yeah, really nice performance. Really good uh, residual slickness. Just down that little bit of water really uh, enlivened it, not just the part that was dried out a little bit, but the residual slickness is really, really good. So that, that is a very good first pass. That is really smooth um, and efficient. That My head feels really smooth, not a lot of stubble left on there. So really good combination. That's, uh, it's on its third use, this, uh, what is it? Blue Diamond, Super Max, yeah, Super Max Blue Diamond, Titanium Coated Blade from Swedish Steel. Really nice paired up in the Rockwell 6C on plate 4. Um, 
And I would bet this soap has a little bit of, well, maybe it's the mint, but there's a little bit of a cooling effect to it as well. So maybe some menthol, maybe a little bit of the mint could be doing that, but all right. With that, I'm going to uh, lather up for the touch-up pass. Do that real quick. There's not a whole lot that needs touched up. And then uh, be back for post-shave. All right, boys and girls, touch-up pass is done, and it was really, really nice. Really smooth, easy. Um, I'm not expecting a ton of burn from the Allen block today, so I'll be surprised if there is, because that was a very smooth, easy shave. Yeah, very little above the ears. A little bit on the back of the head, not bad. Very little. Oh, a little touch right there. Must have had a little spot right there. Very nice, very little feedback from the Allen block, so that's a sign of a good good shave. And I was very close and efficient, so really happy with that combo. With that uh, Super Max Blue Diamond Titanium Coated Swedish Steel blade loaded up in the Rockwell with Plate 4. Very good combo. And the soap performed really well. Like I said, no scent, hardly any scent to it at all. Very faint, minty scent. But really good performance. Cannot complain about the performance, the residual slickness, the ease of lathering, the glide, the slickness, the cushion, all that kind of stuff. Really, really good performance from that soap. So, all right. I'm going to let that dry and then uh, rinse and then be back and we'll finish up with uh well you know what i don't really have an aftershave so i'm just gonna finish it off with some witch hazel so uh that's it i'm just gonna let this dry and then i'll rinse and just do a little witch hazel on so to go over what we used the soap was this french let's see there we go hopefully you can read that okay My Sausage fingers aren't in the way. Um, really, really nice. Really happy with that. So, um, and then, yeah, I talked about the the blade and the razor combo. Really good, and I like the Omega brush. I just wish the handle was a little better. It's kind of a small little handle. So, with that, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, life is going good. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who comments. Uh, I appreciate it. And be safe, be kind, have courage, roll tide. See you guys next time. Bye.